<laughs> cold day out here in the garden shed, uh, but it's good to be broadcasting out. And I'm uh, quite surprised by the popularity of these little uh, pieces on um, chapters in, in the book, uh, Memory, Body and Dance. And by now, of course, we're up to chapter 5, and uh, yesterday I spoke about chapter 4. And I'm very, very pleased, well, it was a couple of days ago I spoke about chapter 4. I was very, very pleased with the response, actually, to the video discussion of chapter 4. It was <laughs> better, better response to chapter 4 uh, on the video than there, was, than there is to actual, the actual chapter in the e-book or the book. So there you go. Uh, but uh, obviously people are, are, are taken with the title uh, statements and doubts. Uh, and just to revise that, uh, you have the statement by John Rangiho on being Māori, you have the revision of that, so to speak, the doubt of that, so to speak, uh, not necessarily the doubt of John, but the doubt of being Māori by e Emma West, uh, and then you have um, Michael King uh, and being Pākehā, and you have, uh, I'll put the, uh, an excerpt from Lydia Weavers, uh, doubting that. So. Uh, we move to chapter 5 looking at Fran O'Sullivan uh, on Margaret Mutu and I think that's very interesting uh, I haven't looked at it in any um, respective gender uh, I've left that to somebody else uh, if anybody's interested uh, but I found that that uh, commentary not an attack but a commentary by uh, Margaret uh, by um, Fran O'Sullivan on Margaret Mutu to be very revealing very 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 uh, sharpening, I guess, of, 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 the, of, of the kind of uh, mindset that, uh, yeah, I, I, I saw it as a, a sharpening by Fran O'Sullivan of the mindset uh, that prevails when a majority group sees a minority group gaining power. And I leave it there because I think you can, uh, I've tried to leave it with a, a lot of Quotations, just as I left in chapter four, uh, everything hanging on a lot of quotations from uh, different writers, rather than me saying what well, so and so is saying. I mean, obviously they're saying something very well themselves. <laughs> they don't need me here in my garden shed <laughs> telling them what they're saying. And similarly, with with the piece on Fernando Sullivan and Margaret Mutu, I've, I've, I've kept it. Um, and Mutu is, is quoting um, um, Sullivan is quoting Mutu, so. Uh, I've left it uh, with the quotes uh, hanging there, uh, and I think the two chapters, uh, now that I think about it, uh, are, are informative, and they go back through uh, a lot of a lot of writing. Uh, I'm thinking of Dance and Identity by me uh, in Aotearoa. Uh, that whole book, uh, I think you can see shadows of these two chapters in, in uh, that whole book. Uh, I also think that. Uh, you can see uh, in chapter one of this book, uh, which is fairly well regarded, I guess, or seems to be by uh, anthropologists uh, around the world, uh, memory, body, and dance, uh, that the general informing notions of identity, if I can put it like that, uh, that I'm talking about in uh, memory, body, and dance, we can see specific. Uh, statements of such in chapters 4 and 5. So thanks very much uh, and tomorrow I'll talk about chapter 6. <laughs>